Frank Parenti with us here in the John Mandola Show, Pitts and Area Softball. Coach, I'm getting old, but you know what? You guys are still doing what you do here at Pitts and Area, which is go out and compete. That young lady right there is a big part she of this. Makes it's, it, she makes it really easy. <laughs> she is uh, dominating right now. What a great young lady, well-rounded academically, athletically, and just uh, she loves her family. She loves her community. She loves the coaches. It's uh, it's nice to see and you guys are living it right now you guys are out to a fantastic start absolutely she's special um she's she's led the team um all year uh uh workouts in the gym on the field uh getting the messages out you know when you're when your best player is your hardest worker wow what a leader that makes right so um the girls all try to keep up with her and uh and they're so close and, uh, you know, as, as a coach, you can't ask for anything more. You talk to the other girl, and there's no jealousy at all. It's she works so hard. That's why she's so good. That's it. They know it, and you they know, know it. it. They know uh, it. And she kind of knows it, but is humble about it. Like, hey, I, she's you know what? so humble. She really is. Um, I mean, I, I know she knows that what she's doing isn't typical, um, but... You know, she has high expectations, so she has high standards. She expects to do this. She wants to do well. I mean, last week wasn't wasn't her best week, but, you know, she's sick. And we didn't even know if she would play a couple of the games. I'm South Williamsport. I didn't know until she got here. And she didn't know I knew, but I was like, what's up? You know, and then she, yeah. I said, how are you? And, and uh you know, she was able to she was able to go and she battled out. You know, she battled and you know it was good because balls were put in play. And and quite honestly, that's the struggle. I mean, twenty strikeouts against Tonkanic, that's fantastic, but it's not a lot of work for a young defense. And we have a young defense. So that's one of those things that it's like, hey, I don't mind balls getting put in play once in a while because we know it's going to happen when we get to districts and, and to this you know. The state is so far off when you're in our district, you know. But you got expectations. You got, you know, things that are in place. But she's the first one to say is, I love that the young players are working hard. They work That's what so you want as a leader. Hard. They work so hard. They, I gave them a day off the other day. And they were like, can't we come? can it just be a non-mandatory practice? I said, I said, because, John, quite honestly, if I give them a day off, it's on a rainy day. I, you know, uh, I, I don't give out schedules. You know, they don't get a, this is when we're practicing this week. For May. I'm like, <laughs> right. I'm like, if it's sunny, we're here. If it's raining, you might be off, you right. know. And, and the other day, it was a sunny day, and they were like, why are we not practicing? And I'm like, I think you need a day, you know. Um, you know, they always get there one day a week, but it's usually on a rainy day. <laughs> For Gianna, the icing on the cake, I said, hey, you, you had an undefeated season. You want to stay championship. It's a totally different group, like you said. But she said, I just love this process this year. What's happening? Um, it's, it's refreshing just to hear her attitude about everything. And the other girls as well. Like, hey, it's, it sounds like they know it's a one-game approach. And they love the coaches. They love what you guys are putting out there every day. Hey, we're trying something different. But we're trying to get better every day, basically. Right, right. And that's, and that's, that's the goal. It's to get, better, to get better every day. I mean, we, we couldn't expect... You can't duplicate what we did two years ago. I mean, you have Tori Para, a senior at shortstop. You have Sage Weidlick, a senior in center. We, we have other seniors on the field with so much experience. Ava Callahan, like girls that have been, had been playing together for years and years and years since they're, since they're eight. This group has never played together before. And, you know, I'm sure Gianna was a little nervous going into this year. This is her first time with the new catcher. It's a first time with, with the new everything. And, you know, so it's the unknown. But, man, right out, right out of the gate, um, these young girls, they just loved it. They loved being here. And Gianna, you know, you know, was like, she would go up to me, they're good. I, they're good. I guess I'm like, they are, you know. It's, what you have to do is you have to get them to believe in themselves, you know, and, and that's and that's the thing, you know, like 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 you, you worry about a young team falling behind. You know, how are you going to react? How are you going to react when you're over two with two strikeouts? Are you going to be able to go up that third time with the runner on third and two outs and feel confident that you can get a hit? And those are the things that that you hope they'll be able to do. But you know, until they're put in those 
positions you just don't know you have a savvy veteran on that mound that's got to place pitches as good as she does with a 20 strikeout game but then you say hey there's going to be some games that are going to put the ball in play we're going to have to play some defense but at this stage in early may you're probably like, okay, we're in the right spot right now, but we still have to keep building. Absolutely, and that's why days like this are so crucial. You know, you get days to come out and practice and, and, and work on things, and today's going to be a day where we work on specific scenarios that we haven't had a chance to work on much. You know, as they come up in the game, you almost want to stop the game and be able to, all right, I want to practice this right now, you know, but because you never know what tomorrow is. Tomorrow could be raining, tomorrow could be another day. I mean, at this point, almost every team's playing four games a week, so... You know, with one off day and what days it's going to rain, you know, it's it's tough. It's tough to get out on the field. Some of the girls that said, listen, the bats are starting to come alive a little bit. We got some girls that are hitting the ball. Talk about that process of, you know, you go from the cages and, you know, you get, finally get some good weather and try to get on the right street. Right. And, 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 you know, the key right now is we're putting the ball in play. We're not striking out. I mean, are we hitting, are we squaring up as many balls as I, as I would hope? We, not yet, but you put the ball in play. They have to make the play. Mistakes could happen. And guess what? The more you put balls in play, the more you'll start barreling them up. So um, cautiously optimistic that come, you know, two weeks from now, you might be ready to go. It's nice when a program is running high, uh, riding high for that matter. You know, you win the state championship, the banner's out there. The community, uh, the student body, you know, the administration, you got to have people behind you. And, you know, right now you guys are in a good spot, but you put yourselves in that it's spot. It's fun. It is. But uh, I tell you, I mean, the support, the support the softball program gets from the community, from admin, my ADs. Whenever I need something, I ask, I get it. <laughs> I need something, I get it. What do you need? What do you need? It's special. It really is. And, 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 and you need that uh, if you're going to have a winning program. I talked to you. I could tell you're hungry. You know, you're, you you want to work hard. You're working as hard as you could. You got a coaching staff that supports you as well. Talk about that communication. And, you know, there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle. You get all the pressure, but, you know, they're taking away that pressure. They are the best. I'm so lucky. I mean, there's so many things that I like to do that, you know, I need them for. I like to go out and hit other games. I like to, um, uh, I, I, I like to oversee everything. I want to go see what, what we're doing with hitting. I want to, I want to see what's going on on the field. Um, and they do so much for me. And they do so much of the paper stuff too, John. I don't, I'm not great with the paper stuff, and 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 they help me with all that too. Um, but they're just, they're they're absolutely fantastic. I'm so lucky. And the girls love the coaches. I, I could be the one that gets under their skin sometimes, but every single one of those coaches, the girls just love them. I can handle being the bad guy once in a while. It's always good hanging out at a practice, watching the girls, watching you guys do what you do. Uh, keep up the good work here at Pitson area. Thank you so much.